Hello everyone. Today we will learn about the HMC and BIOS. What's that and why we use for enterprise. This is especially for using IBM IX in data center because for our ab lab we're using in cloud because we don't need HMC. So I will explain to you why we're using HMC. Okay. For example, you have four server. Okay. Four server we consider it as power 10. Okay, you have one, two, three, and four. Okay, four server. Every server can have a lot of VMs inside. VMs we call because we're using VMware uh, more, we consider VM. But in IX, most of the system administration, they call it Albar. So some user, some system, they call Albar, some of them they call VMs, but the same concept, same things. But if you come, if you are the first things you learn IX or Solaris, they call it Albar. But if you come from VM, they call VMs. Okay, so virtual, uh, virtual machine. So if you have, for example, four server, okay, every server have maybe three or four VMs or Albar. Okay, maybe you have three. So if you want to access each one, this will be troublesome and time consuming. So IBM, they design called HMC. HMC to connect. So the user from here connect by a browser like Google Chrome or Firefox. From, from this, they all connect by cable to HMC. Okay. So you can control all the four server, even inside the four server, the VMs, all you can control by HMC. If, I, I, if you are from VM, I will consider this vCenter. Okay, vCenter can cons can control all the EXI host. Same concept. So in in but is a different VM. The vCenter is just one software, but in IBM is must one physical appliance. Okay, physical like this. This is a HMC. So it's one be in the rack to control all the power ten. Consider this power ten, the newest one. So you can control. So without HMC will be time consuming. But if you are, the environment of the company is small. If it's small, like example, one or two, I think you don't require any HMC. So you can connect direct. From there, you just uh, handle the VMs or the Alba inside. But if you have big company or government or hospital, they're using more that sometimes they're using from uh, six to 10 power server. Then if it's, it's pretty difficult if you, can, uh, if you access one by one. And the good things also on HMC, they can report for you the usage, the networking, the, the alert, the logs. They, was, they report for you a lot of things. So it's useful to use. Okay. This is the first one. The second one is called VIOS. VIOS is works like EXI host. Same things. Okay. So one you need, one we don't need. Okay. So this is another example. For example, this one, we consider one server. Okay, can be power nine or power ten. This one also second server can be power nine or power ten. Okay, if your whole server you want to use only for one application, so you don't need like VMs inside, you don't want anything, just one. This VOIS doesn't require because why you use the whole server as one VM. Okay, but if you you, you need to one server to divide it by two VM, three VM, maybe one VM for database, one VM for application, one VM maybe for um, for Nginx or other uh, application for load balancer. So you need three VM. So to create the three VM, you need one application to divide the three VM. The application called VOS, the same concept on EXI host. EXI host is its job to divide the RAM, divide the CPU, divide the storage. Because, for example, this VM need 10 RAM. Who give him the 10 RAM? Who control this? The VIS. He will cut, this works like EXI host. He will cut, for example, uh, this whole server have 100, 100 gig of RAM. So, for example, this one need 10, this one need 20, this one maybe need 40, okay? So the VOS is his job to divide it and give whatever you want. But 
as same example for example this server you want to use only one one application database whole so it doesn't require VOS because you you not divided the RAM you not divided the CPU you're using whole the consume you consume all the RAM and CPU and storage okay so this is example so this is also is good photo for you HMC so example and you are the user you can uh, accessing the HMC by browser Chrome HTTP or HTTPS means AT or 443 port or you can control by SSH SSH it means you run command on HMC to see everything but uh, I think most of the 80% or 90% they're using uh, browser easy to see the view the alert and view everything okay so hopefully you understand uh, the main concept between what's the VOS and what's the HMC HMC is a uh, is application and physical server okay I, I give you another photo of rack Okay, if for example you have a three server, power ten, then you have to put in rack. Rack most of the time you rent from IPM or you buy. Okay, for example you buy the whole rack, so you put one inside, the second inside, the third inside. Okay. By the way, uh, if you notice more, the future one is power. I think you to u6 u means the size of the u inside the rack every inch here they call u okay so this one can you be u4 or u6 but the newest one like hmc is become more thin the thin i think is u1 or u2 okay it's very thin so you can put more server inside okay for example this is hmc and you put the three of them inside then you cabling behind all so the hmc can control everything okay for example you have any issue physical issue you have to come here and connect direct to the hmc from hmc you can control all the power server inside okay so this is smc uh, in the short summary it's just appliance to control the server but for our lab because we we buy one small vm or albar from the cloud so we accessing by terminal direct to here so we doesn't require for us hmc or v, uh, vis because we only we have one instant of vm we just practice on it but in enterprise you have to understand what's the vis and what's the hmc okay because almost an interview they will ask you about it at least you know as hmc is appliance physical appliance and voice is like um it's optional if you plan to divide the server to many vms or alpar so you need vis to control the ram and cpu and storage but if you're using the whole server is one application or one physical server we you don't need because the whole server you install iax then iax you can control everything okay by the way is a uh, short summary the vis is not aix aix uh, operation system it's different operation system and they have different command some command you can apply and vis some command you cannot apply so the VOIS, we back to the same photo, the old one. Remember, in high level, for example, this whole server called Power10. If you, you're using the whole server as one application, you install direct AIX, then you're using the AIX, okay? But if this power server you want to use for 2VM or 3VM, so you have to install VOIS first, the VOIS. This VOIS is different uh, operation system. Then you... Then you install the albar all is iax okay by the way installing or whatever you're doing here is not required from you because ipm they will do for you because we 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 never learn about how to install uh, iax or vis because everything is come direct from ipm from the ibm engineering but you learn how to use not how to you install our job how to use the uh, VOS or uh, IAX but VOS not much to use or not much to operate it because even from HMC because they using uh, browser you can control everything you can control the VOS and you can control the VMs okay hopefully you learn something new if you have any question please let me know otherwise thank you very much have a good day